Hello, this is your girl Fasology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do a simple recoloring of sneakers in the men's section of IMVU. So this is for the men's section, but whatever steps I give you, you can do the same with women's sneakers as well. Pretty much you can do the same with anything. Now, usually when I go on GIMP, you see me doing the same thing, the same exact thing of when it comes to coloring and recoloring my products. This time, I'm going to show you guys different ways to recolor it in GIMP. So we're going to utilize GIMP a little bit more than normal. So let's get started. Okay, so poly count is who I'm going to be deriving from today. I'm going to be deriving from this creator twice. It's going to be different shoes that I'm going to use, as you guys can see. So make sure you save all of these. And there's the product ID number below. And let me show you who else, well, what else I'm going to be deriving. Another one of Polly Count's shoes, which is foam clogs. I actually like these. And these are in style. So you're gonna be saving both those. And you're gonna be saving the UV maps if you want to. You don't have to. I'm not gonna be using them. Alright, let's get started. are what the shoes look like as you can see they're not bad looking so you have two textures and then you have two textures for these as well so it's very simple I decided to pick something simple not too much downloading and they actually look nice as it is but we're just gonna hook it up a little bit more See what invert does. See, see how cool that is. Give you a whole different color. So invert means opposite, the opposite color. So as you can see, when you invert something that's black, it's going to be white, or vice versa. I'll we'll save these, and we're just going to see what it looks like. We're just going to see what it looks like. In Now, I normally don't use invert, but sometimes you can just use invert just to see what it looks like. And sometimes it ends up coming out nicer than you expect and you end up using with the, the colors that you inverted. Let's see what it looks like. Apply changes. And save. Always save your work just in case because VU sometimes makes you crash. Sometimes you can crash in the middle of something good and then you end up losing that. So just keep that in mind. Though these do not look bad. Alright, let's undo that. Edit, undo. Edit, undo. Now we're going to try something else. The bucket tool. You click on fill the pattern and you pick whatever pattern you want from there. I picked leopard, I love leopard. Now I'm not gonna do all of the yellow leopard, only some parts, just so you guys can see how it's done. It takes a while to do it this way, but sometimes it's worth it in the end. Now I'm not gonna do it perfectly, this is just me showing you guys an example of the different ways you can recolor these products. I don't feel like 
coloring everything. Yeah. You can see exactly what these things do as well. Look. So we're gonna save that as is. Let's see what it looks like. back in VU. I'll show you guys what this looks like. Apply changes. Save. So, had I recolored the whole thing, Leopard, it would have looked way better than what it looks now. But you see exactly how to do it. There's different ways of recoloring products. Now, sometimes I use this route and sometimes I don't. Well, let's undo everything. Sometimes it takes a while to undo this if, you're, if you put a lot into this. That's why I sometimes don't use this. guys know I use hue chroma a lot but as you can see playing with hue gives you different colors that's a nice color right there I think I might keep it like that and this will darken it or lighten it if you do it too much it will do the whole thing so let's overwrite Let's see what it looks like. anything wrong with it I love this color I would actually darken the black more but other than that I love it now let's go to the next the clocks I'm about to show you guys a different way of recoloring colorize as you guys know about colorize like these I really really like these these are nice is it too much red for me yes it is
highlights. Now highlights doesn't do anything because this is black that we're dealing with or dark dark color that we're dealing with but you guys kind of get exactly where this is going. Using midtones and shadows is a good thing. It's another way of recoloring your products. I always seem to play with the levels just to see what I can get. Sometimes you can get two colors in one. Sometimes three colors. If you choose to do it that way. It's all about playing with the adjustment. color this thing. I'm going to use colorize. I'm going to make it yellow. I normally don't have yellow products in my shop. You know what? I'm going to undo this. I wanted two different colors. Overwrite. Overwrite. back in view. Wow, I love these. You know what? I think I will be putting these in my shop. I do need to add more items to my men's section anyway. But these are really nice. I actually love them. I don't have anything bad to say about this. I've been slacking on my men's clothing anyway. But this is actually really nice. I like this. And I love these as well. I don't have anything bad to say about either one. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys for being very supportive of my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. And have a nice weekend.